Okay, so the first part of the question was that we need to calculate the intrinsic value of the company stock. We do that by um, using the Gordon growth model. So we know that 40% of the profits are being retained, which means that 60% are being paid out. So 60% is 1 minus 0 0.4. 3.34 is your expected earning for next year. So $2 out of that is going to be paid as dividend. So that is your expected dividend for next year, which is your numerator, which is divided then by the R, which is the discount rate minus the growth. So 0.12 minus 0.06 the intrinsic value this comes out to be 33.4 dollars the current market price is 40 dollars which means that the value, the stock is currently overvalued if we uh, compare it with the value that is being generated by the discounted dividend model moving on to the uh, part three the fraction of the company's leading p and e ratio that comes from pvgo which is another way of stating that what percentage of the company's current price of forty dollars is being generated by the price um, by the present value growth opportunities? So we divided forty dollars into two components, right? Twenty-seven point eight three and twelve point one seven. So basically, this this part, this question is only asking for the percentage contribution of present value growth opportunities towards this forty dollars, which would be twelve point one seven divided by forty. It comes out to be uh 30.4%. The method they've used is um slightly uh complex and uh, it's much simpler to simply calculate what the contribution of 12.17 is in the price of the uh stock which is currently uh, for which the the stock is currently selling. 